Rainfall falling now pretty steady here across the GTA and you want to look for the yellows, the oranges and the reds because that's where the most intense of the precipitation is right now. The lighter greens indicate a little bit lighter precipitation or lighter rainfall. Uh, as we go here, oh I might need Brett to help me fast forward here. As we go here into the wide shot, I do want him to F10, that's code, right? F10 uh, a couple of times here for this. I'm going to highlight uh, a couple of the cloud cover that's right back through Minneapolis and Sioux City. Why do we care about that? Because that's what's coming over us as we head through the day tomorrow. So it is going to be fairly cloudy. Let's move on here and go into, oh, this is going to be a painful forecast. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> All right, Brett, we got this. Storm tracker. We're going into storm tracker. Let's see if I can do this one. Uh, heavier rain indicated by the yellows and the oranges. And we do have some lightning being picked up now uh, from Hamilton back through Dundas and Ancaster. That's where the majority of the lightning has been. We've had about one or two strikes, though, up near Richmond Hill. Uh, but again, it's this batch of heavier rain that is moving through now and by about 8 p.m. 8 9 o'clock we'll start to lighten up that rainfall it is still going to be wet though as we go through the night tonight all right let's go forward here uh, into, I told you it was going to be painful. Let's go forward. All right, six degrees right now here in the city of Toronto. We do have those double digits down uh, across Windsor, but if we F10 again a couple of times, I want to paint on this warm front because it literally, let's do F10 a couple of times, is acting like a train tracks here for these thunderstorms and most of the storms have been riding right along <laughs> the, uh, the warm front. Let me just go in and tell you what you need to know for tomorrow. All right, it's going to be cloudy. Uh, rainfall so far, this is kind of important because most most of the rain and the heavier amounts of rain have been out through the West End. 25 millimeters now out through Milton. Burlington, Oakville, westward could be looking at 30 to 50 mils by the time all of this ends later tonight. We've got uh, into some lighter rainfall. And the reason why that's important is because the ground is now saturated. So anything else could result in some localized flooding out through the West End. Let's go uh, forward here into the special weather statement. That is for that 30 to 50 millimeters of rain. If you are shaded, you are into some of that heavier rain and uh, higher rainfall amounts by the time this starts to end overnight tonight. All right, we'll push forward here uh, talking about the wind and the next one showing you the wind gusts. All out of the east. We've got gusts uh, hovering between 20 and 30 at times here at Pearson. They're kind of fluctuated between no gusts and gusts. That wind will ease to about 20 kilometers per hour overnight tonight. All right, going into uh, the forecast, this one we can move through pretty quickly here. The thunderstorms will end uh, about 8, 9 o'clock. We'll get into some light rain overnight. I think we'll even see some sunny breaks through about the lunch hour, but it is going to be fairly cloudy through the day tomorrow, getting up to uh, 10 degrees. All right, windy conditions. We'll have those winds gusting up to 50 kilometers per hour. Brett, I want you to click on Friday twice because uh, with that on and off drizzle, I don't think it's going to be so bad that we are going to impact Maple Leaf Square tomorrow. So if you're heading down there for the Leafs, to cheer them on the tailgate party. I think we're going to be just good. Earth Day on Saturday, a little bit of cloud to start, but we'll get into some sunshine. And then I think Sunday really is going to be the pick day of the weekend here. Nice day, lots of sunshine. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, if you're going to be down along the lake shore, knock off about five degrees uh, from those temperatures because of a breeze coming in off the lake. That's your painful weather forecast.